once again and again we are here. Uh, let me not fool you. The hour is gone. Um, the angel of this house, um, Pastor Larry, this whole entire church family, and all of these preachers that has graced this pool. Uh -huh. I am. given to me when I got here. And I got to talk about two different areas, but it's going to be the shortest one. John chapter 19, y'all can stay seated. Verse 28 says it like this. He says, after this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled the sponge with vinegar, and put it up on hyssop, and put it to his mouth. Verse 30, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Twenty-eight. Again, after this, that word "after" is a conjunction word that means something else was going on before they got here. Can I just let you know that something else was going on before you got here? I don't know what it was, but I'm gonna tell you. By the time you get back to it, it's gonna be all right. But you came here tonight for this word, and he says, when you get back to it, it's going to be all right. All right. But, but, but when we look at this in totality, this is where Jesus now is at. And he, he says now, Jesus said these things right here. He said, now it's a comfort. In other words, Chucky, they thought I wasn't going to do this. Ain't it funny how people will size you up? And then they begin to minus out your strength by based on the past mistakes you have made. And I'm sorry to let some of y'all know I don't live in that house no more.
you're never now, you're cute, you're pretty, you're paid 355 for your hair, and you come up in the church with your long nails and come up there and don't do it. But look at folk that sit on your road ugly. And you got what they need, because all, oh, listen, when I come to the house of God, I want to sit next to somebody that's been through some hate. y'all just want to look at it. You got what you don't want to get. All he said was I first. But, but I, I feel a little Smithology now. He was first. They brought a vessel I told y'all this the other day. They had some wormwood and myrrh to make it real bitter. So not only do folk dry you up and look at you, but they just make you bitter. But I like it when Jesus said, check it out, y'all. I'm finished. He says in John 17 and 4. Yeah. He says, I have glorified thee on earth. Watch what he says. I have finished the work which thou have given me. In other words, he finished. The work. Yeah. 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 Now, can you bother somebody? You ain't bother them all night. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, have you finished the work? <laughs> Matter of fact, actually, have you even started? The work? <laughs> so that's the question right there. Some folk want to look like they're busy in the church and you ain't doing nothing. You got all the answers for everything. Soon as the preacher said, we're going to do this, you get a little clergy together and said, no, that don't sound right. We're going to go against the preacher. And soon as, you know, one of the members that's, that's really paying tithes and really looking out for the church, really step up and say, we want to do something. Then those folk that just sit around, you know, you got two types of people in the church. You got spectators, then you got participators. The spectators want to watch you that's participating and tell you, you ain't doing nothing. You well, got hell the last time. I looked at it, you ain't doing nothing in the church. You ain't praying for nobody, and you're still trying to find your husband after you sleep with somebody Yeah, yeah, yeah. He finished our debt. Uh -huh. 